Dapping tools are used to quickly make hemispheres from flat sheet. By trapping the sheet between a hemispherical die and a spherical punch, and applying pressure until the sheet is forced to bend. It's difficult for the sheet to do this since normally when you make a bend you're stretching the material and in only one axis. With dapping, however, you're actually forcing the circumference of the disc to shrink and thicken as you force the metal to bend along multiple axes. This example may help you visualize it. The sheet was roller printed with a grid before dapping. You can see how the rectangles at the center remain the same size, while at the edge the lines get closer together. If your disc is large and thin, instead of thickening, it'll take the easier path and wrinkle back on itself instead of thickening. This will also happen if your piece is too big to fit into the die. Also, if you have cuts or holes in your metal, they will close up into weird shapes because it's easier for the metal to smoosh into those negative spaces than it is for it to thicken up. But any shape can be dapped, and it will always form a hemisphere. To make it easier for the metal to thicken instead of buckle, we want to change the shape of the metal gradually. So place the die on the stump and select a cup in the die that your metal fits into generously and find the punch that fits into that cup loosely. There needs to be a space between the punch and the die to accommodate the thickness of the metal. And if you use too big a punch for that die, the edge of the die can gouge up the head of the punch and then it will transfer texture to everything shaped with it after that. Place the punch in the center of the sheet and tap it with a brass mallet until you hear and feel it bottom out. This should only take a few hits. If that's as far as you want to dome it, you're done. If not, repeat the process with a smaller cup. You will quickly get to the point that your metal won't fit into the next smaller cup. Center it the best you can and try to tap it straight down into the cup. It will be a bit like stuffing it down into it. And it might slip sideways out of the cup. Shape what you can and then turn the unshaped portion into the cup and shape that and repeat this all the way around until it all fits into the cup. It may be a little uneven, but as you drive it down into the cup the final time, it bottoms out and reshapes itself. <laughs> 